All right, guys, I want to do a quick video based on this question from John in the Bricks community. And he's looking at a way to change the color of an icon when you hover over it in an icon list. Having a look at the Bricks editor, so I've got a basic icon list here. And looking at the content, we've got a icon we can select, we've got the label, we've got a background and a color. This color here is for the whole item not just for the icon so unfortunately there is no way to target just the icon even in the style there's nothing here to target just the icon so we need to do this with custom css i'm going to show you a way to do it and i'll show you the better way to do it so if we look at we've got down here at my chrome dev tools if i have a look at one of these items here here's our ul which is the social icons so that's the actual widget element uh, and then we've got a list item, which has got a class of repeater item. Uh, and then we've got a I element underneath it for our icon, which is actually an HTML italics element, but often used for icons. Um, so we've got the repeater item, and then we've got an I. So what we want to do is target that repeater item, and then the I. So let's grab that class. My keyboard and mouse will work properly. So what we're going to do is, while we're on that, I'm going to show you the not-so-good way, and then I'll show you the better way. So the not so good way is to go straight to the CSS for that, go to the root, and then add the repeater item on hover, and then target the LI. So basically, that's the root, there's the repeater item, there's the LI. Now there's the I, I should say. I, not LI. And we want to set the color to yellow. Okay, now as we roll over these, you see the icon goes to yellow. Now, the reason I say this isn't the best way to do it is because we might want to use this on multiple uh, listing uh, item icons, icon lists, and um, we don't want to have to specify these properties in every single one. So I'm going to copy that, I'm going to take that out of this, so that no longer exists. And the reason this isn't the better way to do it is because when we just put the CSS on there, we're targeting that one widget based on its ID. Better to create a class. So I'm going to create a class called B for bricks dash um, icon list. Um, I'll put two dashes for modifier and then a uh, hover. So get a hover effect. Okay, so I'm going to call it that. You could call it whatever you like. I've created a class in bricks now. And now when I apply that same um, class there, or same uh, rule there, it still works. But why this is better, let's say we duplicate that. That's there, and if we don't have the class on it, it's just a standard list. So if I hover over it, nothing happens. Hover over these ones up here, and we get the hover. So go back down to this one. And all we have to do to add that class is type in, say, list or icon. I think we called it B icon list hover, and now we've got the rules from that applied to that list as well. So, in summary, we've got to find out because we don't have the UI for it. In summary, what we have to do is use our Chrome Dev Tools, use the inspector, have a look at what our root element is, which is this UL. So that's Brick Social Icons is our root element. Have a look at what the items are, which in this case is an ally with a class repeater item that's the one we want to detect the hover over and then what do we want to target which is the icon uh, which is the i element underneath that once you know what that is you can then target it now the second thing i wouldn't do is use a color like this i would probably go through the the, da -da -da, the editor actually let's go back a step let's go to the theme styles and go into our colors We've got color palettes. And let's say, for example, we want it to be this accent color. If I click on that accent color, I'm looking for this E6B328, right? So if I look over in my dev tools here on the right hand side, I'm looking for my bricks colors. Here we go. So my bricks colors with the E6B328. It should be a yellow.
Here we go. So this E6, B328, it's got this variable here, the bricks color with the random strings on it, which is our accent color. Okay, so if I grab that variable there, and instead of using color as yellow, we would use that as a var, and then we use the bricks variable. Okay, and then we get the color. Now if I go into my, see that's the color there, if I go into my theme now, go into my colors, and I select that accent color, so we should go into the list so we can edit it, Click the accent color, edit. If I change that to being this greenish color, now it's changed. So by referencing the variable rather than using a fixed value, we can come back to our actual color palette. We can change our colors and it's gonna change everywhere that we've actually used it. That would be my tip in summary. Uh, find the element you wanna target, create a class in Bricks, um, using BEM thinking, so block element modifier, so our block would be a B icon list, our modifier is on hover. So we want to modify this list on hover. Uh, so you select that and then in your CSS, root targets that class. We're going to look for the repeater item, when it's hovered, then the I, and we're going to change the color. Hopefully that makes sense. If you like this kind of thing, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thank you.